part of what we're doing here at WBONTV.com and advertise with us, email us at information at WBONTV.com or send us a message on Facebook or Twitter. Our video stories now have over a million organic views and over a million people reached organically. Get watched, get noticed, get Richmond's very own, WBONTV.com. If you're anything like us here at WBON TV, we're hiding inside from this wintry mix out there. However, we have tons of news still coming in. I'm Marissa Hempel and this is your Tuesday afternoon news brief. Two people were jailed in Garrett County for animal cruelty when a dead dog was reportedly tied to a tree. When officials from the animal shelter responded to the home, they found two severely emaciated dogs and the one dog that had died because it was tied up outside. Because of the nature of the case, Animal Control called for law enforcement to begin the criminal investigation. Officers located not only the deceased dog, but the two others that were deemed severely emaciated. The dogs apparently belonged to Johnny and Maria Denny, who lived at the residence, and arrest warrants were obtained for both of them. The dogs were brought to the Garrett County Animal Shelter, where they're currently being cared for, according to animal control officers. In a post on social media, they report the dogs are already gaining weight and improving rapidly. The dogs will be available for adoption once the convictions come about regarding this case. Today, Governor Bevin recognized the first responders who safely brought home young Eden Hines in Berea from Red Lake Road, where she had been found after being missing. The group of people seen in the video on WBON TV who are being honored by the governor are those who remained on scene throughout the night of October 14th into Monday morning on the 15th, despite the cold weather and rain. Eden was missing for 15 hours when they found her on a mountaintop approximately two miles from her home that she had originally gone missing from. She was found sleeping on a rock after 4 a.m. on the morning of the 15th in the cold and rain by the first responders honored in the video who did not give up the search. A fire destroyed a home in Clay City early this morning. According to fire officials in Powell County, crews arrived at 2 a.m. to the home between 11th and 12th streets. The large inferno they arrived to was in the process of completely destroying the home, but luckily all were unharmed and got out safely from the blaze. The fire, however, is apparently not under investigation. A suspicious vehicle led to a recent drug arrest in Berea. According to police, a car with three subjects was located parked behind a building on North Broadway, and upon searching the car, officers located suspected methamphetamine and heroin. One of the suspects, 33-year-old Christopher Adams, fled on foot, but he was apprehended after a short foot chase. Meanwhile, the other two suspects, 42-year-old Sean Damrell and 25-year-old Alyssa Sylvia, attempted to give officers false identifying information. All three were arrested and taken to the Madison County Detention Center. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.